Hey guys, so as you know, Queensland beat New South Wales in the state of origin or whatever the fuck it's called. I'm not here to talk about sport. I don't really care about that. But what I do care about is this joke that Sam Tyday, a player on the Queensland team, said in a post-match interview. How was that, Sam? Yeah, it was a bit like uh, losing your virginity. Uh, it wasn't uh, very nice, but we got the job done. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've got a second question. Oh, I get it, because the game was a little bit awkward and messy, just like losing your virginity is. That's funny. Not the best joke in the world, but fucking funny and totally harmless, right? Well, not if you're a media outlet, because this is what they do. Media makes money out of creating offence. Because people are not supposed to make jokes. You can't talk about sex if you're an athlete. You're not allowed to even fucking think about it if you're an athlete because you might offend someone. Every single time a public figure makes a joke about anything that isn't fucking puppies or chickens crossing the road, the news jumps on it and tries to create a fence out of nothing because that's how they make their money. But what happens when a public figure refuses to apologize? They don't know what to do. Ashley Brown, Channel 7. Do you regret your comments from last night? No, not at all. You don't think they're inappropriate at all? No. You're a professional athlete and you're referring to winning a game like losing your virginity. Yeah. You don't think that's inappropriate? No, not at all. There's been backlash online and... And about it. See, this is hilarious because Sam Tide doesn't give a fuck and the Channel 7 news reporter has no idea how to handle it. If you listen to the words coming out of her mouth, what she really means is, Sam, you said these words. And then he goes, yeah, I said those words. And then she goes, no, I don't think you understand, Sam. You said these words. And he goes, yeah, I know. I was there. And then the only thing she has to fall back on is, well... There was a lot of backlash online. So? He's an NRL player, not a fucking politician. The news makes money out of offended people. So when someone stands behind the words they say, the media has no idea what the fuck to do. Pump plenty everyone.